An elegant and intelligent looking lizard. She gives you a haughty look, then turns away. Really? That's it? The hunger rises deep within you. No, I don't want to. The hunger dies away. I don't want to eat everybody's spirit. My goodness. Jeez, Losa, calm down. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this person. The ghost's memories slip easily into your mind. His name is Candor, and he thinks he's ready to ascend. He thinks he can be God-woken, ready to step up should Lucian lose the war. <laughs> he's wrong. He'll die. He did die before he even made it to the Chancellor to ask for permission to fight in the arena of the One. And what's more, he was murdered. Ah, murdered. Uh, dealt deeper. You are Candor, and you are, you believe, ready to step up. Your tutors disagree, but you want the Chancellor to hear your case. Instead, you find a man you've never met. A great and powerful sorcerer. And as his shadow falls oh, upon dang it, you, you realize that this is Lucian the Divine himself. Oh, okay, well, it gave it gives away. You a smile of the utmost benevolence and grace, and you realize, as Candor, that you are far from ready. You turn and flee towards the library to warn your tutors, but Lucian is too fast. He cuts you down. Your Candor the Godwoken, dead by the hand of the Divine. Right, okay. A hunger rises. No, I don't want to. Hunger. <laughs> Stop trying to eat everybody's spirit. That's interesting. Um, I guess they have these here in case you have to learn any of the, the spirit spells that you don't have yet. And it doesn't seem like there's any other here. I kind of thought about that a second ago. Wondering if there might be any extra. There isn't. That's fine. Okay, our beam goes where? Our beam goes here. And then where do we need to turn it? Let's find out. Uh, not that way. Uh, apparently not that way. Oh, okay. Uh, so we just did something to this door, which allows us to go this way. But couldn't we have gone this way? Oh, I see. Okay, there's other ones out here. Um, let's go see what's on this body. An automaton still and silent before you. A faint glow pulsates from within its chest cavity. Dormant, perhaps. Take a closer look. A compartment in the side of the contraption appears to be empty. There's a part missing. Place the capacitor into the empty compartment. The capacitor sparks and fizzles. Then the pulsating light begins circulating throughout the automaton. It rises. Magic parts. The automaton looms. Above. Oh, I took it. Yeah, Alone, right. Alone, glowing eye takes you in dispassionately. Uh, can I trade with it? Oh my goodness, it's got spells. <laughs> What's it got? Glitter dust, reactive shot, arrow spray. It's got two arrow sprays. Terrain transmutation. Target two circular areas. Swap surfaces and clouds. It's pretty cool. Uh, deep freeze. Do, do, do. Character in the cone that are frozen and below 10% vitality shatter and instantly die. Otherwise, they receive frozen damage. Healing ritual. We have arcane stitch. Um, I don't know if we have arcane stitch. Oh, I do already know this skill. Fully restore target. Oh, that's right, because it's a source. Gotcha. Um, chain lightning. No. Thunderstorm. Nope. I think I have basically all of these. So I'm not too uh, concerned about buying a bunch of stuff. I don't have totems of the necromancer. So I don't have necro. I don't have necro five. Bone totem will be summoned at the location of your target. It spawns bone totems near every enemy in the area. Bone totems have ranged attacks that deal physical damage. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't I don't think we Ooh, what's that? Dominate mind. Oh, charm. A non-allied character causing them to join you in your side of combat for the duration of the status. Hmm. Yeah, we got we we got everything that we need though. Also soulmate. Uh it's not bad. It's not bad. But is there anything here that I like necessarily need? The scrolls, restoration scroll may not be bad. He's got a bunch of gold. I bet I could sell all this stuff to him that I need to sell. So let's talk to him and then actually, you know what? Should we do this first? Cause I mean, they have like really good attitude with this guy. Um, let's sell those items. Yeah, let's include that in there. Man, that's pretty nice. Actually 1600 gold for that one neck. Oh, we have, you know, uh, is that soul forge? I'll keep the soul forge stuff. You know what? Let's get rid of the uh, Warhammer. And yeah, I think I 
think that's pretty good for now. That's another 733. Beast, you got anything, buddy? It's got the magical dwarven hammer. We'll keep that. Um, do I have these? Yeah, he, he knows those, so we'll get rid of those books. Oh, there were a couple other books there. Okay. Um, except that. And then Sabeel, don't got nothing. I mean, Losa could sell all of this essence. And actually, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I feel like, honestly, I just don't. I don't craft with them. I probably should to make runes. Totally don't. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to drop this charade now. I'm not, I'm not buying or I'm not making any of them. Let's just get rid of them now. Uh, we could even get rid of the diamonds and the crystals. Yep. Okay. And even that silver bar, uh, that was used for something. I'm not sure. So I, yeah, whatever, get rid of it. Okay. Bam. Extra 5k gold. Man, that was a lot that we just got from that guy. Cool. Uh, hold your breath. See what happens next. Or t tentatively greet the automaton. Yeah, let's see that. Hello, God Woken. Oh, he's he's like Jeeves. The automaton peers in close at your face. You are a fine specimen. Most fine. Your arrival is long overdue. Um, ask what this place is. No, I know that. Ask who. The, ask the automaton who or what it is. I am the Seneschal. I serve the academy, both those who teach and those who come to learn, like you. Allow me to show you. This is amazing. Uh, ask what the purpose of the academy. Ask the Seneschal if there's something wrong with it. The Seneschal falls silent for a long moment, as if processing this question is quite taxing on its cognitive faculties. <laughs> it seems I was interfered with. My power supply was removed through force. The perpetrator is unclear. Inactivity has caused further damage. I cannot access my full faculties. Unfortunate, but I shall help you however possible. <laughs> Ask what the purpose of the Academy is. The Academy exists to help, uh, to help unveil the divine from amongst the Godwoken. Inquire as to what Godwoken must do from here. You must enter the temple, then prove yourself in the arena of the one. Uh, ask how you succeed in the arena. It's quite simple. Defeat all others. Okay, ask how to enter the temple. Godwoken should usually be able to pass freely. Whoever trampled with me may have interfered with the academy in other ways. Apologies, Godwoken. I trust you will be able to overcome any difficulties. Yeah, probably. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, what's this? I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's like a, like a data console out of Stargate <laughs> or something. It's kind of cool. Before you stands a shrine of a particularly strange design. You've seen machinery like this before, in the cave beneath the black pit. Uh -huh. Here too, the apparatus thrums with power and seems to pull you in. Should I let it? I mean, I just got a waypoint. Is that, is that okay? That's all it is. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, right. So we've gone through both of these doors. We have the waypoint here. We just got the seneschal up. I think we need to figure out what's going on with this. There we go. Oh, did I? Oh, <laughs> I thought the Seneschal was there for a second there. No, okay, so that launches us this way. Hopefully we can pass over that without any issues. And I'm guessing now that this is powered. Oh, wait, okay, so I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Is there any others? No. Um, so we go to the Red Priest. We auto sort. Uh, we're gonna put one phase capacitor here and one phase capacitor here. Although good to know that I can use lightning to do that as well. Okay, the academy. Uh, so moves the barriers. The temple of the one. Oh, goodness, there's other people here. Who else? Ooh, Ifin is here. So it's Fane. Oh, everybody's here. All of the, I wonder if 
you came here with a party of like if you were playing four player because you can and you got to this point with four people would all of the the origins characters be here because that would be kind of cool oh and this is also this pool back here is cool all right let's see what's going on uh should we talk to the arbiter or should we talk to ifin and fane should i give fane his mask back let's let's talk to them you vile sniveling little beast how dare you what, what are you how dare you reject us ask how he can still be here how many times did I have to tell you? I am eternal. Perhaps I should thank you. If not for your cruelty, I would not have met him. If it, okay. If not for your crimes, I would never have been reunited with my people. What do you mean, my crimes? But now, now I am whole. And soon, soon you will be torn to pieces <sighs> these people they just don't get it you know much to your surprise you encounter ifan ben medst once more but wasn't he dead ignoring the accusatory look on his face you ask him how he's still alive alive oh. i am far from alive oh he's undead now i am sworn to the covenant and you too will be far from alive after I face you in the arena of the wild. Okay, they want to fight me. He smirks, and something awful glitters in the void behind his eyes. Something you never saw there before. Something you hope never to see again. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the Arbiter. God welcome. Hello. Are your studies complete? Honestly, I don't know. Not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Why? Because... I want to figure out what the heck's going on up here because we have this room right which was what quest that was for the forbidden library which was yeah we got things to go to arch so i think we still have one more area to go to after this take on the black ring yeah find out what happened to uh, raidalus right someone may have been killed in the forbidden library so we got to figure out how to get up there can i teleport up there because that would be uh, well, quite convenient. Oh, this is just a source pool? Oh, heck yeah. Let's, let's, let's top out our source. At that point, it might be worth to just, like, equip all my big source abilities, <laughs> because I could cast all the big threes. That would be, um, actually really good. All right. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to use it, it's going to be in this fight, right? If I could top off all my source right now, yeah, I think that's kind of wise. Let's see if I can use my tactical retreat to get up here. It says it's out of line of sight. But, aha, uh -huh, okay, so, boop. Aha, uh -huh, we're in the Dean's office. Can I just leave my, my team behind for a second here, just to make this easier? Because now I've got what? Ooh, there's a chest up here. Am I meant to? I mean, obviously they were like, "Hey, this the players might come up here at one point this way," or maybe, you know, ooh, tome of the God Slayer. Oh, I thought I was about to say that I'm overburdened. That was going to be very upset. <laughs> Read volume lists a great many weapons and their origins. It's not a thickly paged book, however, and it falls open to a page that has been clearly read and reread. It has been known by many names in many languages. Now it is called Anathema, a blade capable of killing the first target it touches, yet no more than that. A crystalline sword that could or could so much as destroy a god, but would lie dormant forever and after. Hmm. Um, it's still kind of in a weird spot, so I can't reach up there, but I feel like I need to check everything back here, because there's obviously this like huge little hallway. So let's do this. See what's this. Oh, we got another phase capacitor, which might put me over my weight limit. No, okay. I was afraid I was going to have to call on a beast and uh, the red prince. Ooh, it's ethereal storm skill book. Yeah, we'll take that. Right, can I now pop up? I got it. Ooh, I think I just saw a little. Yeah. You only need like a pixel. I'll check this. Nothing. 
Ooh, fireball scroll. Uh, I'll pick that up. All right, dead chancellor. Okay, Rattalus. Okay, it's an ancient tome, which I will read. The secret of the gods. I've seen them with my own eyes, and I have discovered the truth. The seven are keeping a secret. While we worship them as saviors, they feed on us like cattle. It's all of our source that keeps them alive. They consume the very lifeblood of individuals, families, villages, kingdoms, all so that they may live on in perpetuity. Also that we cannot be sated by the source we should rightfully keep ourselves. The gods are thieves, and we are their victims. The gods are liars, and we are ignorant sheep. The gods are masters, and we are their slaves. When you champion a god, you are championing no less than your own weakness. When you worship, you sentence your neighbors to death. We will only ever be free when we abandon them as they have abandoned us. L. Lucian, I guess is what that would be. Um, I, I apparently need to talk to my team here, but I'll do that in a second. I'm going to finish looting this stuff. I will pick that up. Uh, ooh, boots. And Tome of a Tyrion. What does she look like? For, okay, she's got five left on her weight. So let's identify. Um, ooh, strength boots. Okay. Oh my goodness, he has really bad boots. I didn't realize that. Well, I guess we're giving up these. What is Beast wearing? Beast wearing really bad boots, too. Uh, okay, let's send those to the Red Prince. Uh, he already knows closed circuit, so we'll send that to the Red Prince. And this requires summoning five, which we don't have, so we'll send that to the Red Prince. Um, these ancient tomes, I'll put that one down, and I'll read this one. This complicated set of schematics details the functionings of the Aetherian. One drawing shows seven celestial beings bowing to the device. Hmm. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I think it was the main thing I want to do up here is... Where is it? Uh, spirit Fisher. Let's find out what happened. Welcome to the Forbidden Library. Do not fear the truth. Though it smash your world to pieces, do not fear the truth about the gods. Ask him for the truth about the gods. The gods destroy what they have made. You think them cruel, but they are not. They own us and will do with us what they must. A thought arrives from deep within. A single word. Lies. Hmm. Take my leave. Hunger rises. No, take my leave. The hunger dies away. Jeez. Who really wants to consume these people? Who else do we have here? Spirit of Rattalus. His memory comes to you like a hound to its master. Your name is Redless, and you are Godwoken. But you know that you can never be divine. You are in love with Tarion, your rival, and that love makes you weak. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. You hear rumors of a god king who would free you to be with Tarion. You seek the Chancellor's knowledge of this king, but when you find the Chancellor, he lies dead. A figure stands over him. Hmm. Lucian, the great divine. He smiles at you and bids you approach him. He lays a hand upon your shoulder, and his blade slices your gut. As you fall, poor Redless, you know that you will never see your Tarion again. Interesting. Take my leave. Hunger rises no. deep within you. Go away. The hunger. <laughs> Jeez. And the Chancellor's just walking around. So we kind of figured out what happened to him. Kind of. Ooh, energy chest. I didn't even notice. Yeah, we'll take those. There's a wand in there. Uh, I'll identify it, but the chances are, yeah, it's not super great. Send that to uh, the Red Prince. Send, actually. Uh, no, that one has Huntsman on it. Send that to the Red Prince. I'm astonished that we don't have, like, good rings on all of our characters yet. Can I open this from here? Locked. Can I pick it? This lock can't be picked. Okay, so the only way that we could potentially ever get up here is the way that we did. Interesting. So, find out what happened to Radalus. Someone may have been killed in the Forbidden Library. Yeah, I see that. 
Can I not? This is the god woken Redless, who fell in love with Tarion. Can I consume his spirit? Redless startles, as if waking from a nightmare. He gives you a look of hate and shame. His weakness, it seems, is absolute. Poor guy. The thing inside you will settle down, but not for long. Interesting. I wonder if that's a her issue or all of them issue. Can I talk to the Chancellor again and see what um what that might do? Do not fear the truth. Do not fear the truth. Okay, yeah. Hunger rises, the hunger dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I see that's just a weird hunger going on in here. It's the hunger games. Uh, let's teleport down. Wait a second, and then we'll teleport down again. Now, I thought that I did this. Find out what happened to Radalus. Isn't that what? Found, like, did I not find out what happened? Is that weird? Do I have to go the other direction? Figure out what the heck that button does? Maybe that's what it is. I just, you know, I don't want to go into. Um. I don't want to go into this like combat thing without feeling confident that I've done what I need to do here first or what I can do here. I think that's the difference, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that I have to do it, but this is all optional stuff and I'd rather prefer this optional stuff be um, taken care of because if it gets me cool stuff, then, you know, then I would appreciate that. Um, did I talk to all of these spirits? I don't remember. Um, what if, just saw another spirit there, that's uh, okay. So let's do spirit vision again, just to make sure I'm seeing everybody. Let's talk to this. You are Leonard Rawl, yep. but first you have to steal the key. No, a okay. hunger, rise no. a hunger. All right, let's, let's walk around over here. Let's see if we can figure out what the heck this button does. And if not, I may look it up. Okay, he just hit the button. Which one came next? Ha! Yes. So hit that one. Wait, where's he going? I need to watch him. Is there other buttons? He just hit that one. Huh? Is there is that a button? Unusable tablet. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, so he hit the button and then that. Where's he going now? So there must be something before the button, right? Because if that were the, oh, and then he comes over here and he pulled that. Very good, very good. Now back to the study. Weird. So, okay. I feel like I might be missing the other bits that he just did, right? I'm going to keep an eye on him here and we'll see if we can. Okay, he's just going to sit down. All right, cool. So now we know that there is like. I must check on the chancellor. Or is that what he's going to do now? All right, so let's follow him. So it went button and then that one. That was for sure. So he's going over this way. This is actually really cool if this is the case. Like this is the way to do this. Oh, where are you going? He did... Sheet paper? No. Interesting. Oh, did he step on this? Okay, that's what he did. He stepped on that. He came over here, he tapped this. Then he came over here and tapped this tablet. Ah, we figured it out. And then he walked over and hit the right uh, thingy majig, whatever you call that Le lever. Yep, okay, so then th this is the way that you're supposed to get into here. Find out what happened to Raidless. But we did. That's annoying. <laughs> Can I talk to the Chancellor? Do not fear the truth. 
darkness for the streets the about the gods, blah, blah, blah. From hunger, right? the here's, a, here's a curious thought. Did we break it because we went out of order? Is that a possibility? If it is, let's load. I don't know when the last time we loaded was. Uh, going across the bridge. Okay, actually, that's not bad. Because, honestly, we did nothing but loot things. <laughs> and so, I could just run back up and do this again. I'm I'm curious. This is it. The of the one. I'm curious if it if it did break because I went up the back in out of order, which is that would be unusual for this game, for sure. Because I feel like, for the most part, it allows you to freely do things in like the orders that you you want to, or even sometimes break it by doing things in weird orders but it lets you break it. So it would be weird to me if, if they didn't do that. Like if that was just somehow bugged or just didn't work unless you did it this way. I mean, it's, it is whatever it is. If this works, then fine, cool. We got the, the quest done. So let's pop up here. Spirit vision. All right, now we have to talk to Rattles. His memory comes to you like a hound to its master. Yeah. You, you hear rumors of a god yep. Lucian, the great divine. He smiles at you and bids you approach him. He lays a hand upon your shoulder and his blade slices your gut. As you fall, poor Redless, you know that you will never see your Tarion again. Okay, take my leave. Hunger rises deep leave him be. Hung Did that work? How, how have we not found out what happened to Rattles? All right, I need to look this up now because this is <laughs> really annoying. So it tells me to go back to Tarion and smile at the reunited lovers. And then that's that. So can I go back to Tarion? Where, where was Tarion? I don't even remember. Um, Candor... Problem is I don't remember, and that's kind of a problem. It's not. I don't think it's any of these nuts out here, right? Because that's the the book guy. It's Tremley. Where was Tarion? I don't. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, let's keep Spirit Vision on in case I missed somebody. Does the map, if I open the map, does it tell me who it is? No, I can't even see them on there. That's kind of annoying. Surely it wasn't anybody in here, right? Because that's, these are all the, like, the masters. Right. Yeah, these are all masters. So, where was Tarion? How did I even get this quest? I don't remember. I, like, just got it. And somehow, I feel... Like I'm missing something. Okay, time time to go back to the wiki. So apparently she's in the library. Oh, right there. Why didn't I see her before? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I swear I looked at all of them. All right, let's talk to her. Her memories flow into you as water to a stream. You are Tarian Gray. You are Godwoken, but you will not be divine. You know this because you are in love with a colleague and rival. You are in love with Redless, and he is in love with you. You have agreed to leave the academy together, but now Redless is missing. Okay, I got news for you. Redless went to see the Chancellor, and you have not seen him since. You're on your way to the Chancellor's chambers when a man's voice calls your name. Lucian the Divine cups your chin. This guy's a, a, a giant douchebag. And a gentle pain stabs your heart. Lucian smiles at you, and then is gone. And you worry so for Redless. Uh, show her where Radalus must be found. As if taken by a sudden notion, she turns and flees in that direction. Okay, and then she's going to come up here and talk to him, and then I'll talk to the, uh, the Chancellor real quick. But that, that felt kind of <laughs> weird. Okay, then I could talk to them. The lovers stare into each other's eyes, together at last. Tarion registers your presence for the first time. 
She smiles at you in gratitude. Smile back, they have your best wishes. Redalus gives you a nod of acknowledgement. You know they'll leave now for the Hall of Echoes. Cool. They turn to each other. Aw, okay, what did I get? Challenge skill book. Bone dust. Or large resist all potion. Honestly, that's probably the best thing there. Alright, talk to the Chancellor real quick. Welcome to the uh, treats about the gods. Continue. Leave it be. Right. Uh, there were like books or something in the. Like there was a hay scroll. I don't remember the hay scroll, so these might be randomized just like the other bookshelves were like back on the. Um, oh gosh, which which place was that? I don't remember the name of it. The previous place we were at. Not outside of this, but before the island. Um. No. Now here's the problem. Okay, acid spores. Uh, how much does that take? Geomancer three. Yeah, we can send that to the Red Prince. I don't think we're going to um, find the items that we did before because they're randomized. Uh, we got the wand and a glowing amulet. <laughs> All right, let's identify the wand real quick. And we'll send that to the Red Prince, which we can trash. And uh, I'm not going to go down there. It's it's not worth it to just get a couple books that I'm probably just going to sell. So now, now we'll go talk to oh, whatever the heck this was. Arbiter? Is it, was that the name of it? I don't remember. But let's before we talk, we're going to get... Um, Source points on the Red Prince and on Beast. And then, yeah, then we can talk to the Arbiter and move this story forward. But I feel like I was given the... Ooh, there's a couple chests here. There's probably going to loot those, huh? I was given the opportunity to go and look and do everything I needed to do before doing this. And the Arbiter even asked me, like, hey, are you ready? Um, so I feel pretty happy with that, being able to actually go and... Ooh. Unidentified boots. That's kind of the problem. Is I had those one boots that I got them. Oh, these are intelligent boots. Oh my goodness, she had the, the worst boots out of everybody. <laughs> she had level nine boots. She is currently level seventeen. Yeah, let's give this to her. That's really funny. Let's send that to the Red Prince. Poor Red Prince and Beast. They're just like wearing. Like basic shoes, you know. Uh, can the red prince go back in one more time? Boom. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, now we get to talk to the arbiter.